Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. Today's poster, who just happens to be my wife, Lorena, uh, wanted to know how to fix this old photo. Now, this is really not going to be easy because there's lots and lots of things going on here. There's, there's a lot of little nuances that it's going to be really hard to fix, but we'll give it our best shot. Um, first of all, what I would say is the background is so busy with little things going on and with this stamp here that I would just remove the background altogether. We'll do that afterwards. Let's first start with the skin here. I tried the band-aid tool and it just did not work very well. I also tried the stamp tool and it just does not work very well because every, anywhere you try to pick there's always other stuff going on that just doesn't work good. So let's go ahead and try the band-aid tool. I'm going to pick the brush at about, I don't know, let's say 50 point here and come in close and just start picking away at little portions here that we can easily fix. You always want to start with the simple stuff and then work your way to the harder stuff. And you can see it's pretty much working pretty good. I'm getting all those little spots out. It's not perfect, but you know what? This is an old photo. It's going to be hard to get everything really perfect. Like this line here is not going to be easy. I'm going to go like this and hopefully it's going to get most of it. It's most of it is out. That's not too bad actually. So now that we got this picture in a somewhat better place, let's go ahead and do a little bit of work on the actual color. Don't worry about the background, just look at his face. And let's go ahead and do a smart fix and see what it wants to do. It actually wanted to make it a little bit more contrasty. I like that, but I think I'd like to also go to adjust lighting and brightness and bring up the brightness of the whole piece here a little bit and play with that contrast so that it's nice and contrasty but not overly. See this before, after. It looks a lot better right around there. Next, I'd like to take some of the color out so it doesn't look so dingy. So once again, I'll go to Enhance, Color, Saturation. The overall saturation, we could just uh, bring it down. So it brings it more like a black and white like this. And I can take it all the way off, but I like to keep a little bit of color. So I'll just bring it right around here. Now, what I do notice is I kind of see lots of I don't know, it looks like either yellows or greens. So I'm going to go up here to master to yellows and see I can take it all the way down or all the way up. And you can see that yellow was really prominent. So I'll bring that down a little bit. Now I can go back to master and go ahead and bring a little bit back right around there. That looks good. Now if we want to soften everything up a little bit, I would add a layer and then go back to the original layer. And with the eyedropper, <clears throat> let's find a portion of his skin that we want the whole skin to be softened to. So let's just try inadvertently somewhere right around there. It's a medium tone right there that you can see. And I'm going to grab the brush and make a really huge, like 250 point brush. And you can see it's really big. I'm going to go to that new layer and I'm going to brush in all his skin with that new color that I got. I'll make the brush a little smaller to get those tighter spots. But this is just the general to soften everything up. All right, now what we want to do is <clears throat> soften everything up and get rid of what we don't want to use there. So let's go ahead and bring that down to really light at about 47%. Grab our eraser and let's make the eraser a soft eraser, but I don't know, let's say at about 45 points. That looks pretty good. And we're just going to basically now erase the edge of our colors that we just added. But up here during the hairline, I want that brush to be a little bit softer. So I'm going to change that from 45 to like 100 point. And you'll see what it does here. Makes it a little easier on the softness up there. And once we get back down to our details, I bring that brush back down to like a 45. And you can see what's happening is that the highlights are starting to come out a little hard, um, brighter, sharper. You can see more of everything.
And now that the edges of my mask have been taken out, I want to make sure that any leftover is, gonna, is completely taken out. So I'll bring the opacity up 100%. Let's go ahead and open an empty blank test layer and fill that in with pure black so that we can see the difference between our mask and the background black. And you can see now what needs to be gotten rid of with the eraser. I'll go back to my um, mask and erase everything in between. And then I'll grab the polygon tool and leave it at lasso and I can just like lasso out everything that I don't want. All the extraneous pieces like this and then hit delete and boom that's gone. Let's go ahead and turn on the original again and now we can see our mask obviously it looks harsh because it's at 100%. Let's bring that mask down to something a little more plausible but softening his face. What looks really natural here look before after, before, after, and it basically softens everything up just a tad. So now we want to fix the mustache, and so we can make a new layer and take the eyedropper tool and take a sample of the darkest point of the mustache, grab a brush, and let's grab a brush that's similar to size of the mustache here, and we're going to simply draw in on both sides, go to our opacity, Bring that down, bring it back up a little bit, and we could do the same with the lips. We got the lip there, it's a little bit harsh. Let's bring it down to nothing, bring it up just a little bit, and that brings his lip in. How does it look without? With? Without. His lip was just drawn back in. So we're looking pretty good here, but let's go ahead and fix out the neck and the shirt here before we continue. I'm going to go ahead and grab the eyedropper tool, go to our original, and and pick out a dark piece here. Go to our empty new la empty layer and go ahead and paint that in with a big uh, 200 point. And then I'm going to take the smudge brush and smudge that up into there. And we like that. But let's go ahead and lessen the uh, opacity again so that I can take the eraser and draw out the edges to make sure that it's not part of the shirt. And now we're looking really good. All we got to do now is fix the shirt on this side, and then we're going to duplicate this for the other side. So let's go ahead and add, add yet one more layer here and take our eyedropper tool as usual, pick something light, and we'll actually even lighten it up a little bit more. Take the paintbrush and paint in our shirt. Okay, once we got that painted in, we're going to lessen the opacity majorly. Erase the white that we don't want. And I'm going to turn on my temporary mask and simply polygon it. And you just keep on doing this until you finally finish with the whole photo. I will right click, select inverse, hit delete. That gets rid of everything else but our new mask. Let's turn everything back on, turn off the black mask. And now we got the shirt nice and white but it looks unnatural because it's at 100%. Let's go and bring it down to zero and slowly bring it up until we find something that we like. Now that we got this photo almost where we want it, let's marry it all together. We're gonna bring the uh, temporary mask down, grab the bottom layer and the top layer and right click and hit merge layers. That's gonna make that into one large layer. And now we can take our polygon tool and make a lasso tool Grab the jacket all the way up to the skin. Bring that down to here. Let go, I'm going to right click and hit copy. We copied the whole left shoulder. I'm going to go to image, rotate, horizontal, and now it just made a copy, but rotated the other way. I can bring that over to here and I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and lessen the opacity take the eraser and let's do like a big 150 so it's going to meld very very softly and carefully from one image to the other. Get rid of all that. Let's go ahead and bring that back up to 100% and there's the whole right side of our image. And now finally all we got to do is cut out the image using a small eraser and we're going to draw out the actual image.
Now once we got them all cut out, what I do is get rid of this background. I'm going to take my um, temporary black mask and put that underneath and now we can see exactly what we need to cut out with the polygon tool. So I'm going to zoom in here and carefully cut out the rest of the picture that we don't need. Okay, I'm going to zoom out here, uh, click the actual photo and hit delete. It got rid of our background and let's go ahead and turn off the uh, mask and now we can see what is going on here. It's looking pretty good, but we can play with this background here by going to the lighting brightness and change it around a little bit to something that looks a little bit more natural and that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a drop shadow and I'm going to choose pure black get a soft brush but let's make this a large brush like a thousand points and go boom boom and this will give us a little bit of depth but we're not going to keep it at 100 percent we're going to lessen the whole thing to almost nothing and it's going to be a really really subtle depth that you almost can't tell here at 50 percent watch the before and after before and after and that's looking pretty good. Finally, we're going to take the cropping tool and grab them right about here to here. Let's take this from shoulder to shoulder. And finally, I'm going to take the liberty of grabbing the square tool here. And I'm going to chop his hair off here and give him a haircut. So I'm going to cut that, grab those two pieces. And let's give him a little bit of a haircut so it looks a little more natural. How's that? Hit OK. We got a nice looking uh, fixed picture and let's go ahead and check out the before and after. This is what we started out with, really dark and dingy, all kinds of issues going on with the background and the skin tone. The whole color's off, then you got this big stamp here. Anyway, we fixed it here and it's looking pretty good. We like it. I think it's a winner. Well, this is Rich for this tutorial, calling it quits, saying over and out.